Hello, I'm Richard Van Wyden, founder of EV for You Custom Conversions. Today we'd like to give you a little overview of an electric vehicle conversion. We're going to use this 1978 Porsche 924 for that purpose. Um, the owner of the car has graciously allowed us to use this car for this video, and uh, we're going to do an overview of what's involved. First of all, this is a 146 volt DC conversion featuring a Warp 9 motor. Uh, it's got a Curtis 500 amp controller and 44 lithium ion cells. Uh, let me pop the hood and we'll take a look underneath. You don't see much <clears throat> when you first pop the hood because uh, most things are covered. But uh, let me remove the covers and uh, we'll discuss uh, in, in greater detail. All right, the covers have been loosened up and ready for removal. Just get these out of the way. So what we have here is uh, uh, 16 of the cells. The rest of them are in the rear. We'll show you those in a minute. We have the Curtis 1231C controller and uh, down here we have the uh, Warp 9 net gain motor. We have the EMS uh, module here. Relay board, fuses, terminal strip. Underneath that we have the DC to DC converter and we have an AGM auxiliary battery also in that same area. Over here is the pot box, cooling fans for the controller, um, the relay for the uh, power brake uh, vacuum pump, main contactor down here. We also have uh, a heater reservoir. It's a, a reservoir with a heating element in it. And uh, below that, a uh, circulation pump. When you turn on the switch for the heater, it uh, heats the water, circulates it, and it circulates through the stock uh, heater core, thus providing heat and defroster for the car. Um, coming out of the most uh, negative uh, point in the battery pack goes through a uh, a shunt. Uh, that shunt is used for the, uh, the EMS, uh, the energy management system, uh, which is a part of the uh, uh, GBS uh, cells. Each cell has a uh, circuit board on top, which provides uh, uh, battery management uh, duties. In the back here we have another shunt. That shunt is used for our uh, analog amp gauge in the console. On the other side, right here, is the vacuum pump. This is a nice one, one of the nicest that I've come across. It's very fast and very quiet. It'll bring this thing up to 18 inches of vacuum in just seconds. Um, this is your vacuum reservoir. This is your uh, pressure switch. I think it maintains between 15 and 18 inches of vacuum. Not a whole lot uh, 
to an electric uh, conversion, when we're talking uh, a DC conversion, we have uh, motor, controller, batteries, and a battery charger. Uh, in the back, we have uh, another group of batteries, and we have the, the charger. So we'll show you that now. Okay, now we'll show you the back end. We have another group of batteries, battery charger, and uh, we have uh, uh, the housing for our uh, safety interlock, and uh, right here is the inertia switch and uh, power outlet that uh, for the charger and for a 12 volt. DC power supply which we also use which is over in the other side here. Now I'll remove the covers and we'll take a look inside. Here's the uh, outlet. The car is currently being charged and let me remove the covers. Okay once the covers are removed you can see uh, the batteries in the rear here, we have uh, um, cells on either side of the transaxle and uh, then we have one back here by itself and uh, so there's three batteries, what I call batteries, they're actually uh, four cells banded together. Um, and uh, so we have a total of uh, seven batteries in the back, four in the front, for a total of 11 to 44 cells total. A uh, little another, another view here. There's our, our battery charger. The cover that goes on top of this is uh, vented with uh, both intake and exhaust fans which come on automatically when the charger is plugged in and when the car is plugged in. Um, there's also uh, fans for the uh, to vent these two rear battery packs which uh, have a cover over them. So the car has the same passenger and luggage room as it did as a gasoline car and uh, so the owner can uh, put the seat down and uh, have uh, room for golf clubs whatever. There's a fair amount of room in the back of this car for a small sports car. actually has a small rear seat which is retained uh, but unless you're of extremely small stature not recommended. However, interesting thing about this car is it has a huge amount of leg room up front and uh, probably the most leg room of any car I've come across uh, definitely in, in the conversions. So anyway now let's take a look from the driver's seat. Okay here's the view from the driver's seat. Basically an electric car doesn't look any different than anything else. Um, there's no controls or anything else that uh, you wouldn't find in any other vehicle. Um, we still have the, the typical gauges and so forth. Um, but we've added a few things um, that are subtle. To operate this car you simply turn on the key. And uh, I'm going to have to cut away because the key is not in the ignition. Just a moment. Okay, with the key in the ignition, we can turn it on. And uh, when we turn on the key, basically we have a little green light comes on the dash to let us know that the, uh, the ignition is on. And uh, then the energy management system uh, screen comes alive. We have uh, 
uh, tack in the dash that runs off the uh, a pickup on the electric motor and uh, we have an analog um, amp gauge just because it's easier to read and I like them better than the digital and then we also have a uh, volt meter for the uh, auxiliary system let me see if I can get a little closer on the uh, screen here for the EMS show you what that looks like there we go you can see it shows the car is currently charging shows the capacity voltage so forth um, we have switches in the console that uh, allow us to uh, control uh, fans manually and to uh, turn on the EMS display. Uh, for instance, I'll, I'll turn off the ignition now and when the ignition's off, the display is off. But if you want to take a look at it while you're charging or any other time the ignition's on on, we have a switch. Turn on that switch. Now you have uh, the display on. Then next to it we have a switch that allows you to cycle through uh, the pages on the display. And so it will show you the voltage and temperature for each of the 44 cells. So, you know, there's nothing um, that is mysterious or uh, strange about an EV. They are very simple to operate. Simply turn the key, put it in gear, and go. Um, it, like I said, weighs the same as the stock version, so it handles. Uh, we have uh, actually went from a 5149 weight distribution to a 5050. And uh, um, also uh, another component that um, uh, I think Toyota owners wish they had had is the uh, main disconnect which is used for servicing and uh, in emergencies and it's down here right underneath the steering column easy to reach clearly labeled and there for uh, service use and emergencies so I'm gonna take another walk around the car um, using the video camera and then we're gonna show you some still footage of uh, of the conversion going together so let's do a walk around the owner of this car will be doing some restoration work to it. It's uh, not in its final uh, condition this time. So anyway, we'll give you a little closer shots of some of the uh, components. Here's the uh, vacuum reservoir. We threw a gauge on. Uh, it's not necessary, just kind of nice to have. There's uh, one of the fuses. Uh, the lines run down the tunnel, um, inside the tunnel, and um, fused at both ends. Um, pot box. Don't know with the lighting if you're going to be able to see the motor. Tack pickup. A little close-up of the EMS display. Lighting's rather poor today. Uh, this is the 4th of June, Shasta Lake, California. Typically high 80s. And uh, we're in the low 60s. And 
So instead of filming this out in front of our our building, we're in a one of the empty bays that I grabbed so that uh, I could do this out of the weather. It's actually sprinkling, and uh, so anyway, this so oh, this right here is the uh, filler for the uh, heater. Let me see if we can get a shot down in there. Hard to see. We'll walk around back. Okay, we'll continue our close-ups here. And like I said, uh, in the rest of this video will be um, consist mainly of still shots of uh, the components and, and of the conversion. So, like I said, down in this hole, which is when the car is finished, it's covered with upholstery. You won't see any of this in the back. The carpet and upholstery pieces cover everything. But that's the uh, plug for the uh, uh, charger and the 12 volt uh, power supply. It houses the uh, safety interlock and mounted next to it there, the red top, is the inertia switch. The lines coming forward from uh, from the front. Uh, there's a fuse kind of just below and off to the left of the fan right there. Um, the wiring right here is extra that uh, runs the length of the vehicle. So if you want to add something in the rear, wiring's already ran. We did that while we we're doing everything else. Makes things nicer in the future. Um, of course, this is the transaxle in the center. The Porsche 924 was the first Porsche with a front engine, liquid cooled, and uh, they had the transaxle in the rear to get uh, uh, weight distribution they wanted. Drive shaft runs down a tube down the center and turns engine RPM. Almost the complete conversion is made in America components uh, to the items uh, which are not are the uh, um, battery cells are made in China and the charger is made in China. Almost everything else is American made. We prefer to go with American components where possible. That's not always possible, unfortunately. Hopefully one of these days we'll have uh, an American manufacturer of the uh, lithium cells and uh, waiting for that day. All right, we'll cut to the uh, uh, next portion of this video and uh, thank you for watching.
Well, that concludes this video. I hope that uh, it has given you some insights to a typical electric vehicle conversion. If you have any questions about uh, converting a vehicle to electric yourself or having one done, feel free to contact us. The uh, email and phone number will be at the end of this video. And uh, we hope that you will consider an electric vehicle in your future. Thank you.